Welcome, my name is Samantha and today I would like to tell you more about Merlin. What is Merlin and what can it mean for you as a patient? In this video I will first tell a bit more about stroke. What causes a stroke and what are the consequences of having a stroke? Then I will tell a bit more about therapies that are used to train the arm and hand function and what are new therapies that are emerging. Then we will focus on Merlin. What is it and what can it bring to you as a patient? We will end this video with the results of the study we have performed. What causes a stroke? A stroke is also called a cerebrovascular accident, which literally means that an accident has happened in the blood vessels of the brain. This can be caused by two things, either due to a blood clot that is stuck in the blood vessel, Therefore, the blood cannot flow anymore and the part after the blood clot does not get any oxygen. Second cause can be to, due to a rupture in the blood vessel and blood flows into the brain. What are the consequences of a stroke? Well, it's quite something that happened over there, so a lot of problems may occur. Patients may have trouble with speech, so way they talk, or with spasticity, which is extra tension in the muscle and therefore it becomes harder to move. There may be problems with sight, so with the eyes, or with the regulation of emotion. Patients may also have problems with the cognition, which is perceiving, thinking, and understanding the world. And lastly, patients may have a paralysis on one side of the body, and that is what we are going to talk about today. Patients may follow occupational therapy or physiotherapy to learn how to use the arm or hand again. The goal is to be as soon as possible independent. Intensive training is very important to achieve this. However, that may be difficult, because a therapist also has to focus on other problems such as walking or speech, and a therapist has a limited amount of time per patient. Therefore, new ways of providing therapy are emerging. Examples of this are, for instance, spiritual reality. It seems like you are in a different world. It looks like you're at your own house, but actually you are at the rehabilitation center. The other way is using robotic devices. You have robotic devices with a motor that will move the arm for you, or without motor that you have to move your arm yourself, but the robot makes it easier for you to move. And now on to Merlin. Merlin does not contain any motors. You have to move your arm yourself. The lower arm will rest in the orthosis to compensate for the gravity. The hand will go into the hand grip. A computer is provided which contains the gains of Merlin and the placemat on which the device is moved. Now let's see how Merlin looks like. Merlin is easy to transport and quick to set up. Let's see how fast we can do this. The placemat is secured on the table to prevent it from moving. The playfield is big enough that it does not matter if a patient has to train his right or left hand. Then we attach the laptop arm to the table. The laptop will now be on eye level of the patient. The training device, the arm assist, is safely stored in a sturdy case. This way the device will not be damaged during transportation. The left and right hand support are easy to replace. Merlin is now ready for use. Now we can start training with Merlin. First, we need to put the arm into the device. So the lower arm goes into the orthosis and the hand into the hand support. We will secure the straps so the lower arm will not go anywhere. Then we can start performing different movements, such as movement in the horizontal plane, so over the table. We can also perform grasping movements, 
with the hand support. You can perform lifting movement to train the muscles in the arm. And we can move the wrist. Let's start by playing a game. Now we can start the Merlin program. We see that games are available to train today. We can go to the message function. Here we see the messages that are sent between patient and therapist. We can also see the progression. We see which games were played in the last days and what score was achieved. Now let's start playing a game. Now we can try a memory game. I turn the cards by grasping and try to find a matching set. In this game we have to move in different directions to make the picture visible. Now I train the range of motion of my arm. Using Merlin you can trade the arm at home using fun games. Merlin contains different games, such as a puzzle game, or a memory game, or a game that simulates that you're in the grocery store. You have to take the items from the shelf and put them in your cart. Or you can play a card game. What are the advantages of training with Merlin? Well, the biggest advantage is that you can train at home, so you do not have to leave your house. You can decide when you want to train and for how long you would like to train. Of course, the therapist will give you some guidance on how long you have to train to improve your arm or hand function. But you can decide if you want to do it all at once or divide it in smaller pieces. You are training alone, however the therapist will supervise you at a distance. He will discuss with you your progression. This can be done via the platform. You can also see your own progression, which can be very motivating. Furthermore, the games are fun and challenging due to the different levels. Who can train with Merlin? Unfortunately, not everyone can train with Merlin. Merlin will be bought by a physiotherapy clinic or a rehabilitation center. The therapist will decide if you can train with Merlin. You need, for instance, to have some finger extension. Also, you need to be able to move your arm. Otherwise, you cannot get into the device or move the device. Also, you need a place at home to train and internet connection. But if you're watching this video, that will be fine. And finally, we would like to present to you the results of the Merlin study. This was performed in the Netherlands and in Spain. 14 males and 7 females participated, with a mean age of 65 years old. 13 patients had a paralysis on the left side and 8 patients on the right side. In the Dutch part of the study, 12 patients participated and they trained at home with Merlin for 6 weeks. From our study, we could draw a few conclusions. The biggest advantage was that patients could train at home and that they were able to determine when they wanted to train and for how long. All patients improved in arm function. They experienced more wrist mobility or more mobility in the shoulder. The games were fun and challenging, according to the patients. However, there was not a lot of variation in games, and they would like to change that in the future. Merlin was easy to understand and simple. After a training of only one hour, patients could independently train without any assistance. After six weeks, we were collecting the devices. Most patients said that they would like to have trained for longer. This shows that patients really enjoyed the training. Patients were able to train longer than they would have in usual care. It is known that after more training, patients improve more in arm function. This is also what we have shown in our study. The biggest disadvantage of the device was that it, that it was large and bulky, and therefore not really comfortable for all patients. So in short, Merlin was a great success. 
Thank you very much for watching this informative video. Goodbye!